My name is Neran Awiemi. I'm from Nigeria. Um, I live in Grams Town here and I've been in South Africa since 2009. I'm into IT. Um, I've been doing this since uh, 2009 or so. Mm, my business benefits residents in terms of, you know, when people are in need and desperately in need of, you know, their equipment to, to get going. And they can't afford so much. So, that is where I come in, you know, try to source for parts locally and get as cheap as I can in order for me to service them and they can afford it. When you talk of xenophobic attack, um, it's so unfair to attack foreigners the way we see on videos and what uh, social media and all those things. I'm not saying foreigners are 100%, and I'm not saying South Africans are 100%. When you see someone who has done wrong, why don't you apprehend that person and hand him over to the law? At that time, I couldn't sleep with my two eyes closed because you don't know what next. You don't know what next because you can be sleeping and you start hearing, you know, all sort of noise and what, what. Where do you go? Where do you run to? You don't know. It's not fair when you, when you pick up somebody and you stone that person to death or you use machete to, you know, cut somebody here and there, you know, just in the name of uh, 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 xenophobia. You understand? It's not fair. I can tell you, even this person that has been killed may not even be harmful. Maybe that person is even doing his own daily activities. You don't know. How do you know that this person has done wrong? Do you get what I'm saying? So, in order for these things not to happen, I think we need to come together as one. I know Nigerians are selling drugs. You understand? But not all Nigerians. I am a Nigerian. I don't do drugs. I've never done drugs before. The first time I set my eyes on drugs was here in South Africa. Since I was born. So now, when you talk of the drugs issue, as much as we Nigerians and the Nigerian government are talking to our people who are doing these wrongs, South Africa should also talk to the citizens that are taking drugs. Do you get what I'm saying? Because when you say you are going to fight people who are taking drugs, who are selling drugs, what about people who are taking the drugs? Because I believe if people stop taking drugs, people will stop selling. When there is no demand, there won't be supply. When you say foreigners are taking jobs, I don't believe that. Those are just, you know, mere talks among people just to create chaos, just to create, you know, you know, that tension, you know. I walk all the way from Rhodes University to my workshop here. I never see any foreigner working in any shop. We have our own business. And we employ South Africans. Go to the other shops where you have South African owners. You don't see foreigners work there. Checkers is the minimum place where, or the smallest place where you can find a lot of people work here and there. Go and count the staffs there, you will never find a foreigner there. Go to pick and pay, you will never find a foreigner there. Go to shop price, you will never find a foreigner there. Municipality workers, are there any foreigners there? 
So when I open my own workshop, have I taken anybody's job? No. Foreigners don't take job. Go on the street. I can tell you most of the guys you see selling on the street, they are all foreigners. You see that? They are all foreigners. So have they taken anyone's job? If you are comfortable, you don't need to worry yourself. If you are getting social grants, if you are getting disability grants, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. Nigeria was once like that, whereby there was disability grants, there was old age grants. What happened? It started wiping up. And when it stopped, you know, because of the energy, the strength of Nigeria, we're still able to adapt. So, when you talk of South Africa, would they be able to adapt if such thing happens? So it is high time South Africa should also stand up and, you know, say, okay, I'm getting this grant, I know that should be my side money. You know when a guy has a side chick, you know what I mean? Like you're married and you have a side chick, you say, no, let me just keep this one separate. That is what it's supposed to be.